So we'd heard all about the water quality issues um, in the rivers in the Waikato. So when we did the water test at home, we thought, well, if we go to the river and find out what the water quality is like, and then we can see how we match up and whether we are an environmental threat. So we came to north of uh, Waihe and the Golden Valley Road to take the first sample, which was north of the town and north of the actual mine, the Waihe mine. And it was interesting, the water pH was uh, 9, which is really high. Well, we thought so anyway. But it had very little nitrate in it, it was 0 0.06, and that was taken on the 14th of December 2019. So really, it was quite clean, and so we, now we had a standard to match from, and we could actually check some other sites to see whether um, there were major changes from industry or town, or what was coming off the farms as well. And the results were interesting. So the second sample we took was at the Victoria Street Bridge at the south end of Waihe. And this is after the mine's discharge. Um, they have a massive water plant for all the underground water they take out. And it can be well over 500 cubic metres an hour. Um, what was interesting that the uh, sulphates went from 3 parts per million to 144 parts per million. Whether that came from the underground water or seepage. Uh, and the nitrates went from 0.06 of a part per million to 0.3 which is still really low and there's quite a bit of farmland to come through but it was starting to show the variance in the um, water quality and there were some dramatic changes in the water and like this as you can see there's a little bit of frothy sort of stuff coming down the river now and that wasn't there in the above the river up uh, north of the town so there's some changes in the river um, so then we started to see that we're starting to make assumptions about water quality and yet there's so many other factors. So the next test we're going to take uh, down at the cycle bridge, which is past uh, the end of town, which is after the surge works. The third sample we took uh, was about a kilometre downstream from the Victoria Bridge, and this was after the surge works at Waihe. And there was only some minor changes. We had the pH went up from 8.1 to 8.6, and the nitrates went from 0.31 parts per million to 0.35 and the uh, dissolved salts rose a little bit and uh, by about four parts per million and the sulfates went from 144 to 150 odd so there wasn't a massive change um, after surge works but what it was showing was that there was incredible difference uh, in the water quality from beginning before the mine until afterwards and there were some changes from after surge works in town now we needed to know what effect was going to have you know like from the farm runoff so we went home and did the samples there as well and that was pretty interesting i got really interested in this uh, nitrate leaching and assessment and the environmental stuff on our farms and that a couple of years ago after i viewed an overseer report which was really interesting it sort of said that you know farms in Waihe could be leaching up to 40 kilograms of nitrate per hectare per year and I thought well that's pretty pretty out there but I thought wow what a great opportunity we have a beautiful pond here it's at the end of a 65 hectare catchment which all but half a hectare comes off the farm so we'll have a really good snapshot of what's going on on the farm and, and see how accurate this all was so we did the Hills Laboratory water test and the first test came back that we showed point one six a part per million of nitrate leaving the farm which that was in the middle of spring october so when you calculated up the numbers it didn't come anywhere near the 44 kilograms a hectare of nitrate and given that we get two meters of rain a year um, i don't know how much leaves that farm like at the moment there's no water leaving the catchment at all but the assessments they were making were just outrageous so as we've carried on and kept doing the tests and we're doing soil sampling and we check the nitrates in the water and then when we go to the soil sampling we're looking at a complete soil sample which looks at the total amount of nutrient, the available amount of nutrient, the total amount of carbon in the soil. It's really obvious that as soon as we get this more and more active in the soil and increase our biology and increase our carbon levels, the water gets cleaner. And I mean that's pretty simple stuff really because they use carbon in all water filters well not all water filters but they use them in water filters as one of the most effective means of cleaning water so if you're increasing carbon on the farm 
we ain't gonna clean the water up. The other thing is if you increase the calving on the farm, it's brilliant because you're gonna lift the nitrogen, available nitrogen level for the farm, but not for the water. So there's a whole lot of really simple things that you can do, but it's all about accuracy. I mean, as you've seen with the water test that we did coming through the river, that there are significant changes going on at each step along that river. Now, to make an assessment across the country that farmers are leaching all this nitrates is just ridiculous. But for the farmers, it's really good information to have is to check out the, what the quality is of the water leaving the farm, what's really going on in the soils, total nutrient, available nutrient, and you can make some seriously good decisions about saving a lot of money, getting absolute best production out of your farm, and being environmentally friendly as well. It all seems a bit too much, but it, that's the way that nature actually works. And if you go to anywhere in the world where nature set up fantastic floodplains next to the sea and that, it's incredibly fertile and everything's clean. And that's exactly what we need to do on the farm. It's quite simple, but it's really accurate. And that's what farmers have to do these days if you want to protect yourself from any assumptions. You know, as this water issue continues, you got to know what's going on with your farm. And if you are leaching material, you can actually do something about it. It's pretty simple. So get proactive, get on with it. it you know, my life has been about investigation and working out how things work. And really, there's always an answer. You've just got to find it.